Hey guys, welcome back. This is Joe's an Architect, and if life points is what you want, I got the video for you. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, here we are, back where we left off with some blood magic, and the only thing I've done with blood magic is I have extended the altar to kind of show a template of what the altar is supposed to look like up to tier 5. This thing does go up to tier 6, I do believe. Um, but right now we only really need up to tier three, I think for today's episode, but this thing will need to be up to tier five before long, which is going to require beacons, which will be right here, which are going to need to pass directly through these corner pieces, which I think is going to be perfect. It's going to look perfect. And it's actually going to go all the way up through here. And the beacon is going to pass through the corners. And this is going to be awesome looking. Like this thing fits perfect under the base. I'm also going to extend this out and it is going to fit perfectly right over here. There's going to be little pathways on each side so that way we can just teleport down. And uh, I can't wait to have that. Um, but this going underneath is nice. I also went ahead and put some dark oak slabs underneath here to kind of cover up the bottom of what everything looks like. And of course we have a sound muffler. I might actually need to put a sound muffler on each corner of each of the mob farms because right now they're just being punched to death. Like, there's nothing going on up there, but they're being punched to death. Um, so, Blood Magic. I have been making lots of blank slates, and I was kind of going through going, all right, how many are, are these going to actually divide into? Because we are going to use them. So it looks like we can make 35 slates at this point. So these runes. This is what we're going to be using to upgrade our altar. So each where, basically where you see cobblestone pillars minus the things, that the structures that are holding these up, are going to need to be changed. Uh, all of this needs to be changed. This needs to be changed. Once we change this, this will upgrade it to tier three or tier two, because right now it is at tier one. We can hover over here. You can kind of see it in the top left hand corner. Just me holding this in my hand tells me how much uh, life essence is in here or life points is in here, and then also tells me what tier it is. So if we do this, let's go ahead and take our weak blood orb, because that's what we have. I also need to grab a philosopher's stone. Because I have been neglecting this this entire time, but if you hit C while you have a uh, Philosopher's Stone, it will pull up the crafting internal grid for it, in which we can utilize that to make these runes. All right, so you take this here. We are going to need to manually place this stuff, though. So let's go ahead and do that. And that'll give us eight, which will be perfect, because that's how many we need. Right here, eight. That's how many we need to upgrade this to the next tier. So if we go ahead and break all the way around here, we'll have somewhere to place our blocks and we'll just place our runes right here, going all the way around, just like so, just like that, like you see. And if we take a look now, you'll see this is upgraded to tier two. Still has the same capacity, but is now at tier two. Um, so let me go ahead and break one of these because I'll use this as an example. All right, so I'm going to take this. We're going to get our glowstone. I just need one block to replace the one I broke. And I think this can be a chiseled variance. I don't I don't actually know if it can or not. Uh, we might be able to test that here in a minute. Um, but to upgrade to the next tier, we're going to need to do the same thing. We're going to have to get some stone. Good old fashioned stone. And by the way, I want to address the elephant in the room because everybody keeps mentioning it. Um, they're like, your EMC is going down. They're like this EMC number right here. It's, it's going in the negatives. That's because I want it to. As you can see, over the past few episodes, it hasn't really changed much. That's because of the limit that we are at. Like, we are at a very high number uh, here. This is 7 to the 18th power, basically. Um, I think it's quintillion. So, once you go above 9.4 quintillion, I think it is, uh, you can no longer put items in here. Like, it's, a, it's just a, a, a limit. Um, with Minecraft, like you cannot put it in there. It's a, it's just the way that Project E, the base mod works. Um, so yeah, you can't actually put items in there because once you do, it just goes, oh, I don't know what to do with this. Um, so you can no longer burn items in there. Um, but it is still going to be increased and you can increase it with Project EX, but you can't really utilize that extra number. So that's why I'm, I'm just letting it drain right now. There's honestly, if I ever need to bring anything back, I can just throw a final power flower on here. Because this is only worth 81p, you know? This is a much smaller number. So yeah, that's that's one of the things. I get a lot of comments here recently uh, asking about that. And I just wanted to kind of 
get that you know off of uh, off of my shoulders. So I'm kind of talk about it with you. Um, but anyways, back into making some more runes. We can always convert these runes, by the way, into the next tier. You see, we use blank slates. So we can make speed runes. This will actually make the process faster here. So when I put stone in here and I have ten and I want to put ten in, I have a couple speed runes. Bam! It'll make it a little bit faster. Actually, I probably want a couple of speed runes. Let's turn my magnet on. I think I just lost a rune, unfortunately. I lost it to the void. No, I didn't. I got it. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, I, I want to kind of convert this into speed runes. And I should be able to do that. Let's head on over to our system. Where are you at? Way over here. Eventually, we're going to have that once that mod is working again, which should be in the next update, which should be very soon. I will be using an actual terminal, a wireless terminal. Um, but speed runes. This is not that bad, right? It just requires some stone. Right here. Let's go back into this. And some slates. So we have these two blank runes. And I'm going to feed it the, as many as it needs. Which is four. That'll give us four speed runes. And that's going to be perfect. And I'll kind of show, I might be able to show you what this does. But for right now, we've seen how slow it was in the last episode. Very, very slow. This will make it a little bit faster. And also still counts as a rune, keeping this at a tier two. You can see right there, it should upgrade to tier two. Now it's tier two. Um, so upgrading these runes. All you got to do is basically complete that same craft. It w We were just needing uh, stone, I do believe. So we place that in there. I'm going to split that. Give this a little go. There we go. And this crafting table is a little bit different. And so I said, it, it all depends on your taste. If you don't like that crafting table, don't use it. We're going to go around here. I think this is about 20 that it needs. It's, yeah, it should be exactly 20 because it's a five, uh, five blocks on all sides. So we'll end up with two left over. Which is perfectly fine. Um, and then this should upgrade to a tier three. Once you place these caps on, and I'll kind of explain that. So you're going to go two up and make sure you place glowstone up here. Because right now, this is not upgraded to tier three. But it will upgrade to tier three once you have all four glowstone caps on. So I'll place those. Give this a second. And it should upgrade to tier three. And you can see it is now setting at tier three. Tier three with 10,000 LP capacity. That's great and all. But we are going to need more capacity eventually. And we do have runes later on that we can actually get. We have runes of capacity and um, augmented capacity. So these are two runes that you'll have to use later on down the road. And uh, I think right now we can't get them because they require what? An imbued slate, which is a tier three. I guess we could get it. Um, but there's a few things that I want to get more of. And that's to upgrade the, the petty or upgrade the lesser Tartaric. Um, so G E M. There we go. So the common Tartar is going to require an imbued slate to upgrade this thing. We have the amount of uh, will to upgrade it, but we need an imbued slate. An imbued slate is going to require a reinforced slate, which comes from a tier two. So if we go ahead and we get this thing filled up, right? And we can look, of course, without our thing. This will be 5,000 alone. So if we keep doing this, Letting herself heal up. There's six. Okay, so that's perfect. That'll give it get us exactly where we need. I can go ahead and place one of these in. That's going to automatically be sent in that chest. Yeah, that's one of the issues here, right? So we actually need to turn this off to not active. And we'll let this set in here. Now what you can do is you can just leave it in here. Because once it uh, converts to the next tier, it's going to automatically start working on the next tier, which is imbued. Um, these speed runes should help. You can see it just converted to that next tier rune. And you can see it just started the process again to upgrade it to the imbued version, which the imbued requires 5,000. And as you can see, it just completed, and now we have an imbued slate. So these speed runes can help you, and you probably want some, at least a few speed runes, otherwise you're gonna be sitting here waiting for these crafts for a long time, and that's not exactly the funnest of things. So yeah, we should be able to jump right in to this process, we, we got this still going. By the way, I did add some tanks, some quantum tanks here, because this quest kept completing, and yeah, we have these quantum tanks here, and 
I want them to be the buffer because I can't always just keep completing the quest while I'm doing stuff. So I'm just letting this be the buffer. As of right now, we already almost have an entire tank here like that's able to complete this quest. And same for this side. Like this one's just about ready to be able to complete this quest again. So this is probably how we're going to make the most of our money at this point. But yeah, that's that's just one thing I wanted to show you guys. All right, let's get this. We'll get our, our gold. And I hope you guys are able to keep up and keep along. Now you guys have been super positive, by the way, in the comments. I super, I really do appreciate that. Um, it does make me feel pretty good to, to know you guys are enjoying this series. All right, so diamond. Let's go ahead and get that gold diamond. And we also have another gem that needs to be in here. And I believe that this needs to be a lesser tartaric, right? So we need to use a lesser tartaric. So we need to technically make another set. So yeah, this is kind of like a, a loop kind of thing going on here. So we have a petty tartaric right here. To make this needs a petty tartaric. So this one needs a petty tartaric and a lesser tartaric, if that makes any sense. So let's pull this out. We are gonna to need to make ourselves another lesser tartaric before we can do this. So we need a, a redstone, lapis, and diamond. Redstone, lapis, and a diamond. There we go. All right. So we have this, we should have a full Petty Tartaric ready to go and another Petty Tartaric. This will be used to upgrade this one and make another lesser. All right, and then we'll use this lesser as a part of this recipe, right? To upgrade this. So we need that imbued slate and we need a diamond block of gold imbued slate and a lesser tartaric. And then we have to put our lesser tartaric in here to get a common tartaric. And technically we need to do this twice because to, to upgrade to the greater tartaric, we have to have another uh, common tartaric. So now we have this and now we can continue to fill this up and we can fill both of them up um, because we are going to be using this one. Like I said, it's like a tree that keeps growing um, and you have to feed the branches. <laughs> so that's one of the cool things that you have to do in this mod. But anyways, I'm going to be here filling this up. I'm probably going to make a couple more sentient swords so I can do that. We're going to fill those bad boys up and we're going to get deeper to blood magic. So I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks that you can use to gain more life essence in here um, while doing your self-sacrificing. Uh, it's going to it's going to take a little bit. We can I, I'm going to show a couple tips, uh, one being an environmental controller that you can use in this pack. And then I'm going to show you one way that will also help you gain more for your self-sacrificing through blood magic itself, which one is actually super easy. Um, so with blood magic, we have something called a incense altar. Now, the incense altar is actually something that you need to make. It's going to be required. It's a quest. Um, but the incense altar does a lot of stuff. And we're going to talk about that here in just a second. Uh, another thing we're going to need to make is we're going to actually need to upgrade from a regular sacrificial dagger to a bigger dagger, which is going to be this guy, which is the sword um, that is going to meet a tier two and 3000 LP. It's going to, it's going to make the dagger of sacrifice. This sword is just a little bit different. So let's grab the sword and I'll come down here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, this one does like a half a heart at a time or a whole heart at a time. I mean, so let's see how much we have in here or oh, just a little bit. I want to get away from using these golden apples. This was just to get started. Of course, there are other methods that you can use, um, but this is just how I've been doing it for right now. All right, so we can go ahead and throw the sword in here. Bam, we'll throw that in there. That should be good to go. Let that bad boy swap over. It should go a lot faster because we have these speed runes, like I said earlier. Um, and then once this thing changes, well, we're going to need to upgrade something else. That I'm going to talk about here in a minute. So not only do we have this dagger that we need to get done, this weak blood uh, orb needs to be upgraded. We need to go to the next tier. Um, but this dagger is really nice because as of right now, we're doing, let's see, can we, can we see how much is in here? Maybe we can just drain out all this blood so we can actually see how much we're actually getting. So right now I'm just emptying all the blood. Uh, this will complete its craft, move along. 
There we go. Let me throw some more in here. Let it finish. It should drain everything out. Bam, that's done. That does seem like it's not using all of it. There we go. All right, so that's completely drained. And that's what we want. We want to see all that gone. Because I'm going to show you one prick for the sacrificial dagger, which right now we have absorption. That doesn't really matter. One prick, that gives us 200 LP. Exactly. Right? So if we drain all that out, we'll be able to see exactly how much we get after we upgrade. And now this is just plain old upgrading to the dagger of sacrifice. So if we think we have 10 hearts, right? And so each heart is 200. So that'll be 2000 LP that we can gain from a full health bar. This dagger on the other hand does a little bit different uh, whenever we start getting uh, going with this. This thing will actually change and it actually goes along with the incense altar. Um, so down below here, what I want to do is kind of set up the incense altar. So as of right now, we have this platform that goes all the way down. There's going to be one other layer here. So I want to go down one more. And then this will be the layer that we build upon with the incense altar. So we do need a little bit of an area here. Like that. Disconnect this. Perfect. All right. So we have this little square here, which is perfect. What we can do is place down that incense altar by itself. And it's going to give us nothing, right? Because it's, it's not going to work. Like right now, it, it's, it's lit and all. But it changes the sacrificial dagger to a different type of dagger. Um, and this dagger can be used later on. Right? So right now that this sacrificial dagger is ready to go, we can one shot. And look at that, it took all of her health. Ignore this dagger, because I think this one's for something else. I think I got this confused with this one. Um, so yeah, ignore this dagger. We still will need this one later on. It does has it, it does it, this one does have its uses. Um, but you can see that that pulled in our whole health bar. And it gave us a bonus just with the altar by itself. It gave us a bonus of 160 life points. That's just by itself. That's not with it upgraded. Because right now we have no upgrades. Uh, so we need to make some upgrades. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get our saturation back up. This thing is already charged again because of that. We can knock this back down again, eat a few more apples. This is a qu much quicker way of filling your life pull up. And we have to wait for it to recharge here because this will recharge once you move around a little bit. There we go. And we need to take a look at our, our orb. So there's a few tiers of orbs and we need to go up to the apprentice. It's going to require a block of redstone in 5,000. This will take us to the tier three or tier two. We can go up to the tier three, but for right now with redstone, this will allow us to kind of push our way back up. So we should have almost five. Once we move around a little bit, we'll be able to dump more in there, of course. And this should finish fairly quickly once it pulls out enough life points. You can drop down, do it again. Very, very convenient. And you don't have to sit there and click a hundred times to drain your LP. Um, and plus you get a bonus. And I'm going to show you how we're going to expand that here in just a second. Once this is done. All right. So we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and link that to ourself. Now this, this orb we can use later on, but it's pretty much useless at this point now um, because we are going to go ahead and upgrade ourselves. Let's head on up here. And we're going to use this orb to create ourselves some wooden paths. So we'll take this and this will make wooden paths. Now we're going to need a three by three area on each side. So we should grab a few. And I want that orb on me. I don't want it away from me. All right, so let's head back down under here. So right now we have this just a regular cobblestone path. I think I want to make this grass. Because what we're going to be working on is, is something called tranquility. Let's get some glowstone. Because we can use that as well to light this up under here. Yes, yeah, so what we're working on is something called tranquility. So let's go ahead and take this wooden paths. And we're going to expand this in all the directions, all cardinal directions here. And this is the first step of getting ourselves some tranquility. 
Let's go ahead and break this and we'll place down some grass. And at each corner, we're also going to put some grass. But I'm going to tell you that doing a, a few other things are going to really help. Uh, right now, I think we can use our divination sigil. And it will tell us it is plus 20 on here. And our tranquility, we don't have really have any just yet. But we will very soon. Um, so let's go ahead and take some of this grass. Like I said before, we're going to start placing it right in here. That should start increasing that tranquility number. You see that number is changing now that we've just added grass there. Grass, dirt, uh, there's a whole list of stuff. You can find it on the wiki that do help. Uh, planting farmland, water, life essence, lava. All those things can help the, your tranquility go up. And we're going to actually do that right now. So what you see in front of you at this point is all of the different blocks and the range that this will work on. Um, so each each one of these uh, materials and blocks has its own value. Some of them are lower than others, but it is good to mix them together. That is the ultimate thing. So what we have here is technically I should probably break some of these just to allow grass. Well, I guess we don't we, we don't have any grass to only have grass blocks down here. So yeah, um, it is uh, you do have the ability to kind of mix and match blocks. Uh, and it's good to use these different materials. So what I have here is a little bit of leaves, oak wood, um, some netherrack, dirt. So you need some kind of block to keep it dirt. Oak leaves, like I said, or any leaves, uh, netherwort, netherrack, uh, soul sand, lava, life essence. You may be wondering how I'm getting that. I did put a fluid tank under here to automatically pull out until this uh, tank is full. Uh, which we'll do very soon. This is actually very fast and a very fast way to pull out of there. Uh, I did notice it actually just pulled it out right away. The, the pulling out is the, the easy part. Putting it back in is not the easy part. Um, but as you can see, we have this and we have all these different crops. All these blocks you see here are blocks that can be used. And uh, this is all of the blocks that you can use. So using any other different types probably are not going to increase the efficiency. You can see right here, we are at uh, 2,162 um, tranquility, and it gives us a 60, a plus 60% 60 bonus on our life essence. So we're getting more than 50% of a bonus each time we strike ourselves here. And of course, this is going to go into a tank, but I mean, just from that one hit, we had about 3,000 out of that. 3,000 LP just with one swipe that quick because of what's underneath us. I mean, it's not, and it's not hard to set up, like I said. And this thing is only gonna get better and better. This is only the tier two version. You keep extending this out and out and out, and things are gonna get way better than this. But this is a nice little place that kind of lets us relax as we're hurting ourselves. I guess, <laughs> at least that's the idea around it. So this is like the piece of resistance this is like the ultimate health generator right here. This is the top tier nano beacon, the tier six nano beacon. And I have been able to get that tier six material because I have over the last few episodes, I've been working to get this up to the tier five. Of course, we, sh we can easily upgrade this to the tier six, but uh, we're gonna have to do that mostly for a quest. This right here is what I really wanted to get. And so I have a, a messy inventory here, but I wanna show you what I do have. Uh, it looks like we lost a saturation modifier, but that's okay. I can go ahead and grab myself another one. Let's do modifier. Modifier. So I do need a saturation just to kind of make sure I have enough of all the parts. Um, there's all of our structure blocks. We should have 12 health boost. I guess I lost in the health boost. It probably is laying around the base somewhere. Uh, where are you at? Where are you health boost? Health boost. Okay, so we should have enough of everything. We need 24 health boost. We need like 140 structure tier six blocks. And we need like 112 of the, the structure panels. You can do clear or not. I'm going with clear just because I think it looks cooler. Um, but I go, I have this in the position. If you want to know how tall it was, because I had to kind of break it a couple times to figure out how tall it is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you place it on top of there. So it is eight tall or eight off the ground. And that's where you kind of want it. And all we got to do now is just hold this and let it build it. Now this is a beacon. It does require a beacon to make. Uh, and it's not too difficult. 
I have had a lot of people ask, how do you get the wither? How do you get, how do you kill a wither? You don't even have to kill a wither in this pack. All you got to do is deep mob learning. Um, and that's pretty simple. If you just look up the recipe for deep mob learning, it's a very, very simple recipe. Um, so this is one of those things that sh it should not require. I think we're getting pretty close to it being done. All right. This should be about done. It is on the ground. It is a giant pyramid structure. It says false, but it should be just where it needs to be. Of course, I placed a block and broke that. Let's place that again. Break that. True. Assembled true. Look at that. It is ready to go. All we got to do is give this thing some power. So if we give this power, we are going to see something ridiculous happen. Once this has power, we should get a massive health boost. Look at that health boost. And when we take damage, we're not going to take damage. This is like the ultimate blood magic, just fill up machine right here. Look at this. Bam. Ready to go again. Bam, ready to go again. Look how fast we regenerate our health. This is absolutely insane. If you want to get through blood magic really fast, now you know how to do so. <laughs> we will eventually make this mob farm automatic and we'll make it automatic. But as of right now, this whole setup from today's video is so overpowered for blood magic. It is insane because getting this health boost, saturation boost and stuff, we even have sulfurate, which I don't know why we have sulfurate. I think it's something to do with our health being so high, that might be something to do with it because we're doing it so fast. Let's see. Let's see if this sulfurate goes away. Because sulfurate you get when you die. Yeah, we get we get the sulfurate effect for doing this. I wonder if we get rid of the health boost and we just make it regen, if that would remove the sulfurate. Because sulfurate is not good. Uh, it kind of limits how much blood we can actually put into this thing. So I'm wondering if getting rid of the health boost affects that soul fray or not. I don't know. That's something we'd have to kind of check out. But other than that, that's still a lot of health. That's almost, that's, that's, yeah, that's a health bar and a half. That's a lot of health um, that we are getting from that beacon. Um, but anyways, that's just something that I wanted to show you. And uh, I hope you kind of learned something today. We take a look down here. I'll explain again. We are draining. Oh, this, yeah, you guys need to go. Uh, also, if you hit C... You can do like a, a mass killing if this is upgraded. There's the range. If there's mobs around you, you can hit C. You don't even have to swing. It'll do it for you and automatically kill the mobs around you. But that's just something I wanted to show. Uh, because remember, this thing is, is multiple tools. This thing is an axe. This thing is a sword, a hoe, and shears. So it does work as all of those. Like if you wanted to pick that up, it is a shear. So just keep that in mind. Uh, these are both multi-tools. But... This is looking pretty good. Also, we have a tank down here. Like I said, this is filling up uh, with life essence. And I just want to have a tank here. Uh, I just want it to fill up over time, which is exactly what it's doing. Um, and it shouldn't take very long. Um, I want it to drain because this also has an internal buffer, by the way. And I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing is draining the internal buffer. But it's also going to fill that internal buffer and drain it out. It's only going to go a few at a, a little bit at a time. But once that tank's filled, I'll be happy. I'm just going to be using that tank later on for other things. Um, but we do have quests that do require blood magic. I um, mean, you can see we still have some stuff for blood magic to go. And it's funny because if you haven't caught Button Stream or my live streams, I do live stream on Twitch and I have been trying to do it about every single day. I do play on the sub server. Um, it was funny because another Twitch streamer, which uh, is one that helped in the development of this pack, uh, which was uh, his name is Button, and you can find his channel. It's actually linked. Right up here, you can see right here, twitch.tv forward slash button. Um, he, it was funny because he was like, oh, it's going to take you like, uh, what, three or four episodes to complete blood magic? And I was like, yeah, it's going to take like three or four episodes because blood magic is such a big mod. So, anyways, I thought that would be funny <laughs> to kind of add. Um, but anyways, if you haven't caught my live streams, I do live stream and I have been live streaming almost every single day. So, uh, the, it's almost a guarantee that when this video goes live, I am probably live on Twitch. So if you haven't followed me there, I highly recommend doing so. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something today. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a huge 
thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.